Why does she look like me, Holden? You're me, but stronger. Ah, dudes. It's your boy Asian Psycho with K2O Sniper 98. I have an announcement to make. I am a fucking degenerate. I have an announcement. I am drunk. And this is a number of scripts that I wasn't able to redeem. Sup, Reddit? <laughs> So here's finally that Jalter video that I promised to you guys. Hopefully my channel's not completely fucking dead like I was after that degenerate 24-hour stream that I did two weekends ago. Anyway though, back on topic. Jalter is a 5-star Avenger who's a sneak peek preview of what the FGO meta will become in about 7 months. Wait, what do you mean her name isn't Jalter? At level 90, Burnt French Toast has 11,761 HP and 13,244 attack, and with full grails those go up to 12,885 HP and 14,498 attack. She has 29 star absorption, 6% star gen, 0.83% MP charge attack, 5% MP charge defense, 5.7% death rate, and she's chaotic evil fucking Dumb. No shit, Sherlock. She's got a 2B, 2A deck with a Buster MP. Her quick card hits three times, her arts cards hit twice, her bus cards hit four times, and her extra attack hits seven times. First off, Jalter has the highest attack rating out of any non-grailed, non-fode servant in the game. I should honestly just stop there. Basically, Jalter is a berserker who's not a berserker. As in, she hits damn hard, but also dies hard, too. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, treat her like a slightly tankier berserker because for all intents and purposes, that's more or less what she is. Also note that overall, Jalter has really good MP charge gain. She's got two arts cards and a 0.83% charge rate, but also remember that she's got 5% MP charge when taking hits. She also generates 4% MP charge every turn, and gets increased MP generation when taking those hits as passive skills thanks to her Avenger class. So theoretically, she can use her MP a lot, or at the very least get her first MP off really fast. The challenge is just making sure she stays alive to make use of it at all. She also has pretty decent star gen even though her star gen rate itself is pretty bad just because she has decent hit counts on her cards, especially her extra attack. So if you're lucky, you could use a Jalter Brave Chain and then have her pick up her own stars the very next turn. But how can she pick up her own crit stars if she's got terrible star absorption as an Avenger? Well, that's where her skills come in. <laughs> Dragon Bitch's first skill is Self Modification EX, which both increases her own crit damage and star absorption by 20 to 50 percent and 400 to 800 percent, respectively, on a seven to five turn cooldown. This is more or less Jalter's bread and butter skill. Because Jalter has such a ridiculously high attack rating, it's almost criminal not to try to take advantage of it whenever you can with crits, provided you can give her a steady supply of crit stars. Keep in mind, however, that even with this skill at max level, Jalter will still have trouble gathering stars for herself if she's in a team with archers or riders because their star absorption ratings are way higher than hers. Her second skill is Dragon Witch EX, which increases the attack of all allies for three turns from 10 to 20% and it further increases the attack of all allies with the dragon trait for the same duration for an additional 10 to 20 percent on a 7 to 5 turn cooldown. By itself it's a decent skill but as you might imagine this skill becomes godly when you stack Jalter's team with people with the dragon trait so basically anyone from this list of servants right here. Notably Liz and Jalter have some pretty hilarious synergy with each other once Liz gets her this charisma upgrade and they can both buff each other for 40 percent damage at max rank. However, also keep in mind that Jalter's charisma buff doesn't double buff herself, as she herself doesn't have the dragon trait for some weird reason. 
Her third skill is Ephemeral Dream A, which grants herself invul and increases her buzz performance for one turn from 30 to 50 percent on an 8 to 6 turn cooldown, but it also reduces her HP by a thousand as a demerit. However, she can't commit Sudoku by using this skill if her HP was already lower than a thousand at the time she uses it, so you don't have to worry about that. This is her use it with her MP skill, but like Jack's Evade, it's also tied with her invul too, so the same dilemma applies here. If you're taking Jolter to serious fights, you may be forced to have to choose between using the skill for one of its effects over the other. Like before, I recommend that you use it as a survival skill first over a damage skill, unless you just want Jolter to just blow her load and then have her backline clean up after her. Together, Jolter's skills are all about that damage, damage, damage. If a pure Catholic Saint Sister is the epitome of tankiness and stalling, then Jolter is the pinnacle of DPS. Whereas John offers plenty of support and utility, Jolter's only support skill is her charisma while she runs around blowing people up with buster crits all day. Which means she can do something like this. Kind of fitting if you really think about it. For skill leveling recommendations with Jolter, I actually recommend that you level her skills in accordance with what you have available to you, both in your own inventory and what you have on your friends list. If you have strong Sargen servants, level self modification first. If you have lots of Saber Aces, or Liz I suppose, and you like using them in a lot in battles, level Charisma. Otherwise, if you can't do either of these, Jolter's third skill is probably the safest bet to level first since that's her strongest buff. And for passive skills, Jolter has Avenger B, which reduces her teammates' debuff resistances by 8%, and increases her own MP generation rate when taking damage by 18%, Oblivion Correction A, which increases her own crit damage by 10%, and Self-Replenishment Magic A+, which charges her own MP gauge by 4% every turn. Unlike a lot of other servants with either shitty or just plain negligible passive skills, Jolter has passives that are both quite nifty and help hone Jolter's arc type of being a hyper glass cannon who goes hard or goes home. This isn't a phase mom's noble phantasm is Le Grandement du Hain, which DW got wrong because it's common knowledge that Japanese people are like Americans. They butcher everything that's not their own language. It's actually Le Grandement de la Hain. Hey, speaking of butchering names, it's a single target buster MP that deals 600 to 1000 percent damage depending on MP level and disables buffs on its target, meaning that the target can't apply buffs to themselves for one turn after it lands. It also curses them for five turns as its overcharge effect from 500 to 2500 damage depending on overcharge level. So with all of her skills and two buster cards, Jolter can absolutely nuke the shit out of literally anyone in the game that isn't named BB. No, not that BB. Oh, okay, no, not that one either. So like what I was saying, Jolter's entire kit is geared towards what the future of FGO's meta will devolve into in due time. Crit skills, damage buffs, and a survival skill, along with a Buster Brave chain. Even though Jolter is undeniably really strong with her own assets, the fact that she fits so well into the future meta guarantees that she's going to stay super relevant throughout the course of the game. Or in other words, Merlin is going to be her best friend. But... You knew that already. Fanfic Girl really only has one objective. Kill everything. So it's up to you to make sure she does that. Because she's a super selfish servant, naturally do whatever you can to set her up to do lots of damage. If you can also set her up for nuke crits, then that's all the better. But even if you can't, Jolter's damage is always worth taking even further beyond. <laughs> And so because Jolter's strategy is quite simple, it's better if we just skip this section and go straight into the next two. So we know that we need to take Jolter's damage even further beyond. How do we do that? Well... Uh, no, that, that's the wrong game. But you get the idea. Spineless whiny bitch, Deadline dude, Avalon Wen, Arrogant fuckboy, whoever you've got who can give all the attack buffs are Jolter's best friends. Even better if they're people who can give her different types of attack buffs too, like Granny Lolly with her third skill, or Nurse with her Angel's Cry. 
But it's not just damage buffs that Jalter appreciates. She also needs star gens so that she can make use of her crit damage skills. So people like Murder Dotaru and Best Dad fit the bill perfectly since they're assassins and they won't hog the stars to themselves when Jalter uses her first skill. And finally, contrary to popular belief, Jalter isn't as thick as you might think she is when it comes to her HP, so giving her a teammate who can provide heals or evasion is vital for longer fights. Or in case a teammate can't do that for her, you can occupy that role with your choice of Mystic Codes, the ones that have survival skills like Evasion, Envil, or Guts. The meme teams also aren't bad. Burger Queen has both Charisma and Instinct, even though they're both not that great, and can benefit from Jalter's Charisma. And John isn't bad either because everything she can do, Jalter really needs, but then again, John does that for just about anyone anyway. You could find better teammates like Waver or Jack, but hey, seeing Jalter fight alongside Salter or John is always cute, and at the end of the day, that's really all that matters, right? Wait, what do you mean this game's all about meta? <laughs> In Jolter's case, it's generally better to get more mileage out of what she's good at rather than patching up what she's bad at. In other words, just stick LZO on her and call it a day. Other than LZO and his counterparts, Victor is pretty much tailor-made for Jolter. The other crit CEs are good too, like Atumbra and Knight's Pride if you really want to make Jolter a true crit glass cannon. Art of Death is very good too if you're going up against lots of humanoid enemies, and since all servant bosses are obviously humanoid and you're likely going to be using Jalter against them, it's an easy choice to make. Basically, if you want to boost Jalter's damage, make sure you go with CEs that specialize in one area or another. CEs like Gudao that increase both crit strength and MP damage, or other CEs like it that boost more than one effect, trade effect efficiency for more coverage if that makes sense. So you're wasting potential damage by giving those to Jalter. Only Victor is the real exception to this, since the two effects it has have natural synergy with each other. Seal Designation Enforcer is also an option if you need to stick Jalter into team comps that have archers or riders in it, so that Jalter can more efficiently collect crit stars for herself. And, because she's a nuke, giving her CEs that boost MP damage are great against bosses like Heaven's Feel, Halloween Princess, and Black Grail. Just be careful when giving her Black Grail for reasons we've already discussed earlier in the video. But if you're really worried about Jalter dying, Defensive options aren't out of the question either, and you can get creative with them, as creative as you can get in a game like this. If you're putting Jalter through some long fights, giving her Golden Millennium Tree isn't bad, and 3000 additional HP means that Jalter can definitely survive a turn or two longer, assuming you can even hit that max in the first place. If you have healers on your team, giving Jalter HP regen CEs like Moonbath or Maiden Halloween will help complement your healers very well. Just keep in mind that without other teammates to help provide heals, just HP CEs by themselves won't be enough to make it worth their while giving them to Jalter in the first place. If you want to increase Jalter's HP while letting her keep another offensive CE for herself, there's always the option of stacking your backline with ideal Holy Kings, assuming you have a few copies of it. Iron Will training isn't bad either, and Volumen is fantastic on Jalter, as it pretty much is on anyone. Though it's only best in situations where you only need to buy time for Jalter to get one MP off, that'll finish the fight. Her max bond CE, on the other hand, is Hell of Blazing Penalty, which, if you look at the CE's portrait closely enough, you'll see Jalter celebrating 420 with Snoop Dogg. Smoke, 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 day, day, smoke, it increases her party's buzzer performance by 15% if she has it equipped and is on the field. It makes sense, but why would you have that when you can just have Limit Broken LZ on her instead? <laughs> So to wrap things up, Darkness is a nuke. Set her upright, and she'll almost literally blow up anything in her way. Just be careful though, otherwise she might blow up on you too. Nukes go both ways, after all. And like all Sundarays, make sure to take good care of her. Give her everything she wants, like heals, crit stars, and more damage. And she'll fight to the best of her potential if you do. Also, DW, give NA her Shinjuku outfit early, please, okay, thanks? And that's all you need to know about FGO's great assault generator. Wait, Tumble's salt was bigger than this, what the fu- Below are not one, but two Twitter polls on the next two videos that I'll do in this series, and in context of the XL Order event, the first poll is gonna be between the King of Strippers and Shiro's husband, and the second one's gonna be between Spineless Whiny Bitch and his boyfriend, Best Bro. Also, those of you who've been in my streams lately will know this, but the 24-hour stream that I did two weekends ago or so has solidified my status as a degenerate, and several of my viewers actually created a Discord for both me and my stream viewers. So if you'd like to join us in our degeneracy, I'll put a link to our Discord 
Discord server in the video description below beneath the Twitter poll links. Just please make sure to follow the rules. We're all there just to have a good time and RP to our Degenerate Hearts content. Anyway, that's about it for my shilling. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, deuces.